the good thing about having a 1320 banged on to fuck chaos team is to get to play rookie teams. Though, of course, rookie undead is not so good. 1440 TV against 984 70 difference. Um, some guards, some mighty blow, some claw palm, but only 11 players. He'll probably outbash me. He's got two mighty blow. He could have a wizard and and a star of some variety. He can have Setek now, can't he, if he wants to win? Or um, he could also just have a mummy. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course, I would be mad. I would be mad if I was him, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, the level 6 killer isn't that good because you can just foul him, can't you, with zombies? Like, at least he hasn't got any players worth, worth killing. <laughs> but yeah, the fact he's got tackle for his. Um, and obviously, just claw pump for his mummies means that his mummies might just get killed instantly. He might just concede, mightn't he? TBH. He might just concede. Yeah, the team does look min max. Yeah, well, it, I mean, well, it is min max, isn't it? Just involuntarily, involuntarily min max. He didn't take anything, so I guess what he's going to do is just run out the turn every time or every turn. I imagine that's what he's going to do, since he didn't buy anything. Yeah, I guess he's just going to... Well, then, then he didn't take max time. Sure, I thought the fact he didn't take any inducements, he was just going to let the clock run down every turn. Maybe he is. Maybe he is now. Well, it's just variance, isn't it, Sam Davies? Sometimes they, sometimes they go on a rampage. Sometimes they don't. Well, there's not that much difference between an armor eight, armor, and an armor seven. Plus, obviously, if you're using Skaven, then the Troll Slayer does have claw palm. <laughs> I used to play magic. Running the timer is kind of a strategy, yeah. Well, I just thought, I just thought, the fact that he is, he had run out of time for inducements and didn't take any. I just thought he must have just stepped away from his, just minimised the game or whatever, and um, you know, done that. Only oh, did ten casts, three deaths in the pitch clean. <laughs> yeah, but there's games that are like where you just do nothing, aren't they? Where you just, you don't kill them, and then you get. No assist fouled out of the game, and you're like, brilliant. Right, at least I get to build the other killer now. Anyway, he gets to he gets to pick up and score. I really want to make three dice on him, but it's just harder, isn't it? Nah, it was AFK. No problem. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it is, J5, yeah. Maybe that's what it is. He gets the PD. P Diddy. Mm -hmm. 
standard um, ball carry for care, so the block mighty blow guy. Oh man. 20 quintillion before I get to level up Jim the Lumberjack, and he's probably going to get better than Nate then. I reckon. I reckon he'll be better. Right, he can go there. Bish, bosh, bash. Three, four, 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 five, six, even. He can go here, can he, for a three? I need to put two guys in here. Oh, I could blitz a mummy. Nah, I don't want to blitz a mummy. He'll foul me. He'll foul me. Um. I can always use my blitz to hit him if it's not a knockdown. Oh yeah. <sighs> Panning the zombie. The fucking worst. The worst thing you can do in Blood Bowl almost, isn't it, is panning on a fucking zombie. I'll just blitz him. Just to protect the killer. Oh man. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I guess I should have taken the ball down, shouldn't I? I oh, maybe I should have blocked him first, but I wanted three dice. This has gone great so far. Pretty great. Pretty great start so far. Happy about the way this has gone. Frenzy Wrestle, give him deep three. I like Frenzy Wrestle, it's um It's good isn't it? It's good for knocking over blodges and that. Without having to have a shitty tackler. The last thing I want in my team is a fucking tackler. Alright, let's see. Let's see the difference. Jim. He goes from fifty three or hundred and twenty three to two hundred and thirteen. Yeah. He's pretty good when he gets to 600. So it's 600 for Jim the Lumberjack to be better than Nate. Nate Dog. <laughs> Hello, Zacharel. Uh, it seemed pretty condescending when it was like, well done, or, or something like that. It was <laughs> pretty condescending. <laughs> ah, there's a mummy here. And now I'm not going to get fouled afterwards. So that's nice, isn't it? There's also the dirty player to foul him. No, maybe I should blitz him though. Nah. <laughs> nah, don't be daft. Who gives a fuck about the ball? I used to, Sam Davies. I did, I did, I did answer. I used to play magic.
pylon. Auto pylon. Nothing. Wow, Black Lotus. I, I unfortunately started playing after Black Lotus. Um, I started playing when there was, I tell you what, <laughs> it was really funny. I started playing when there was uh, the fucking, it was just weird. It was the the best the best deck ever, the best deck ever was around. And um, what was it? Illusions donate, illusions donate was around, and I was just like a little kid with a life gain deck, and uh, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't very good, amazingly enough. But because I could gain loads of life, I actually stayed in it for like a decent amount of time, uh, like stayed in the game for a decent amount of time. Against this guy who um, who had the best deck that has ever been. Fucking armadillo cloak and stuff. Green white life gain life gain deck. I had uh, to be fair, armadillo cloak was a really good card. But I was like, oh man, it's great doing damage and get, get gaining life. And uh, yeah. could have frenzy served. Not really. I don't think we'll look that one. Sorry, Zacharel. I thought you played shit. No offense. But <laughs> I look like I made a mistake. I forgot I had the wizard. So I accept that I deserve to lose because of that. No, the the best deck was definitely yeah. Mirari was Mirari. Look, well, Mirari was okay, but the best deck ever was definitely, without any doubt, the best deck ever was Illusion's Domain. Inconstructed anymore. It was completely busted. Necropotence is yeah. Necropotence is was insane. It was absolutely insane. <laughs> that was clever, J5. Yeah, ne Necropotence is just is just ridiculous, isn't it? Although Necro Impotence was a really good card in um, in that other game. Whatever it was called, um, Unhinged was it? Necro Impotence. I enjoyed that because when you had. Um, when you had the card that um, what's he called Richard Garfield when you had the Richard Garfield card Necro Impotence just became Necropotence which was funny Richard Garfield was the only was the only card that I drafted over and we, me and my friends used to have unhinged drafts and the only card that I ever drafted like above an unhinged land was was Garfield because you know the best thing about him was if he had multiples and uh, the second one became a should I surf him then? alright never go on let's be boring if he had multiples the, se uh, the second one became a um, <laughs> that was good he doesn't get the chance to not use it if you had multiples, the second one became a force of will, didn't it? Which was fun. So pro that probably makes him the best legend ever, doesn't it, really, Richard Garfield? All the others, if you draw another one, you can't play it. Whereas with Richard Garfield, if you drew another one, it became a force of will. Baser. I think I want to put him here. Put him in a cage. Put the killer in a cage. I've only got 11 players, I don't really want to foul with my dirty player, do I?
bit of shit getting him blocked. Maybe probably shouldn't have done that just to get a 2D here. Probably should just make a one down. Oh well. Got an injury. Yeah, they had unglued ages ago and then they had unhinged afterwards. Yeah, unglued was the first and unhinged was the second one, yeah. just Jimmy BM. No, I just thought, yeah, obviously, look, I was, I wasn't very, I was obviously less nice than normal, because I was really pissed off that I'd been, um, that I'd been, that I'd been fucked on with a death, been fucked on by the blitz, been fucked on by losing my dirty play before the fucking game started. So, like, I was so fucked on by the dice that I was obviously not in a very happy mood. So I was always going to be, um, so I was always going to be pissed off from that res from that regard. But just giving up two dice for no reason on the board is bad, isn't it? Giving away blocks for no reasons is bad. It's just it's just bad. I mean, that's there's very few things that are definitive in Blood Bowl, but giving up two dice on the ball for no reason is bad. Giving up blocks for no reason is bad. So you know they were just they were just some unequivocally bad things about your play. Whereas it was bad, you know. Maybe it was. The thing is, my 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 big mistake was not using the wizard because I just forgot about it. I just forgot about using my wizard at the start of the turn. But at least that you can, you know, say maybe it wasn't maybe it wasn't bad not using it. You can you can maybe argue about that. But just just mindlessly basing is bad. I think. Well, yeah, that is bad. It is bad. Just mindlessly, but just basing for no reason is bad. Giving up a two dice block with like what did I do? Like a GFI or something? A two dice. Blitz the ball. That's just bad. It's just bad. Stall for no reason. But I mean that there's there's pluses and minuses to that because you know, scoring, I get players back, maybe make more LOS blocks, maybe make a foul. So there's pluses and minuses to almost all all plays, isn't there? So um Better lucky I'm good, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Sam Davies, but just like, there's... Uh, yeah, okay, maybe you can debate that, but against Killer Chaos, I think it's pretty... Obviously, my wasn't really very killer that game, but still. In the in the other game, when I made a million casualties, there were just loads of hits given up, which um isn't good, is it? Could try to surf him, but I'll probably just roll a knockdown. So it's easier just to get the blitz in here, isn't it? Uh -huh. Yeah. But I mean, though... Those bases in that game, those basings in that game, and the previous game, were just bad bases. And I don't think anyone can argue they were good bases. Um, whereas, obviously, something, almost everything in Blood Bowl you can argue about, can't you? Well, oh, well there's, plus, there's pros and cons to almost every play. But I think it was really hard to argue for the pros in those plays, to be honest. Really hard. Minus M. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was really. I was really. I was really, um, I was really salty just because it was so, it was harsh to be down that much TV without my killer, like my one tackle guy, and my Wrestle Frenzy, so the two things that I had to combat Bludge 
were, were out at the same time. And then I got matched 300 odd TV down against Blodge. And then I bought the bribe, which my dirty player got killed before I had a turn. So like it was that was I was so horrible to never have a chance. But then ultimately it was my decision is what lost me, because had I remembered the wizard, used the wizard first, I would have won. But I didn't. <laughs> or I would have at least drawn, drawn or won. But um, I guess the way the dice went, I would have lost still. <laughs> taken, taken about six casualties as chaos against dark elves is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you still won. You still won. So yeah, there you go. And it, and it was, it, I, I didn't play perfect because, I, although I was desperately unlucky, of course, to power the ball carrier and then the guy next to him catch it. And then maybe I shouldn't have used my wizard. Maybe I should have saved it. Go for the 1-1 one, one at half time and then turn over a win with the wizard. Maybe that's what I should have done. But yeah, I think I should have. I, so like, even then, it's not, it's not, de it's not definite that I was, um, that the wizard the start of the play was the right play but I think it was I think I should have bolted the uh, blodger killed him the other guy catches it blitz him get the ball secure it 1-0 at half time <laughs> yeah look you can still you can look <laughs> if you if your K killer chaos team ends the game with five players on the pitch um then then it is what it is isn't it i think i made basically one mistake and even then it's an arguable mistake in the whole match and my punishment was my ball carrier dies and i lose the game which i think is a little bit harsh but there you go Fuck, I wanted to um, blitz the mummy. Obviously, I wanted to surf him if I got the push, but couldn't get a push because God knows I can't surf anybody. Get the push on that one instead. No, but the thing is, KLZE, if you have Killer Chaos and you end the match with five get players, you ain't going to win that game, are you? Whereas if you play Wood Elves or Skaven and you end a game with five players, you could have won that game. That, that That's basically the difference, isn't it? It's just the limitations of, of Bash teams. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. You mad. You mad sums it up quite well. I was just really sorry that I just got fucked on. And I should have conceded. That's the worst thing. I actually should have just conceded. If I'd conceded, I would have still had a team. But not only did I lose, I lost my team as well, which is disappointing, isn't it? When you've when you've put in 40, 50 hours into a team, and then it all, you lose it. It is. And like some people are like, Ra ra ra, you know. It doesn't matter, but it does matter. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Sacklier. But li lizards can win down players because they do have movement 8 and blodge and stuff, don't they? Like that game that I nearly won against that guy who killed my entire team. <laughs> Common trend here, isn't there? That guy who killed my team when I had the agility 4 blodge skink and the other blodge skink. I could have won that game 2-1 easily despite not having any players because movement 8 and stunty is really good, isn't it? 
at the end of the day, you know, you can you can win with movement eight and stunty. But um Chaos just can't do anything. Um, unless you've like been incredibly lucky and got some crazy players, but chances are you haven't. Just, this is about this is like the clicker game isn't it this match really it's just click until I win pretty much I think I mean I don't think there's much you can do to stop us here maybe maybe he gets really lucky and randomly kills a player but hopefully not this is close to as close as it gets to an auto win isn't it I mean, it is true, to be fair, with Brainless Chaos, you don't actually need a killer, um, a killer, a ball carrier. It is absolutely true. I've, I've thought that, to be honest, times when I've had my killer die. I've thought, do you know what? It's actually it's actually just better now that there's not a killer here, and there's not a ball carrier. GF fighter there. Whoa, dodgy. Uh, if I go there. <laughs> I'm managing to make this difficult, aren't I? Um. Should be safe, shouldn't it? Rolling dice. Feel shit, man. Yeah, ball carry was blowed. It, it was, to be fair. It is it, ball carry is pretty bloaty, but obviously, in the match against Price, you really need him, don't you? But then he just gets hit by a rock, so there is that. It's true, Joey. It is true. It's just it would just be good in the playoffs, wouldn't it? It'd be good in the playoffs against like Woodies and stuff. So yeah, I guess I guess I'm going down the actual brainless chaos route for the last ten games. Carry with a claw, mighty blow guy. <laughs> well, mighty blow block in this case.
And Claw might blow all the carrier ones so that he can get piling on. <laughs> oh man. I guess I don't know. Obviously, I'd love to um, blitz with the claw pommer here, but um, it's just bad, isn't it? Bad in terms of risks, risk, risk that I don't need to take. That would be cool to make the two GFIs and then pin him. Uh, make this block first, I reckon. Yeah, I've got a reroll, so now I think this is worth it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the undead are getting banged on right now. Yeah, that's true. He 470 TV down, he didn't buy any inducements. Yeah, but to the ball carrier, fair enough. It's not even low TV, that means TV it's four it's just a four seventy TV gap, so it is what it is. Right. I need to um, I need to go and have a piss, so hopefully I won't piss myself next time. That's good, isn't it?
Well, that was that was fun, wasn't it? Come back to a concede. Um, got some money's good. Can't be on our MVP. MVP on the guy who was denied the touchdowns. So that's all right. Um, right, fifteen thirty. Eleven players. So might as well get a twelfth now. Cryer for I should have got actually, shouldn't I? Crazy Fago! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's pretty good. Let's buy Crazy Fago. I'll it's put a bit Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um right, so thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.